What are toasters made of? How do they work? Hello everyone, I am Goliath, and I'm here for educational purposes. Have you ever wondered how a toaster works? Where does the bread go? Where does the toast come from? Why is it always burnt on one end and singed on the other? Like black and white cookies, like an Othello piece. Why does my toast always come out like an Othello piece? Fear not, for I am here to explain everything. That's right, everything you need to know about toasters and everything else you don't want to know about toasters. <laughs> so toasters usually look like metal lumps with two openings on the top, a pushy thing on the side, and a plug on the end. The plug is used to go into the socket and to conduct electricity from the socket to the toaster, giving it power. I have yet to see a toaster that has been driven mad by power, but I am looking for one. The two slits on the top is where the magic happens. See, you put bread inside, right? And you push the little pushy thing down. Now the pushy thing summons magic Keebler elves, who take your toast, drag it down into the toaster, and bring it to the magical land of Toastella. In Toastella, they take toast, right? And they put it in your toaster, because that's the way things should be. Kind of like when the Tooth Fairy comes, takes your teeth, and leaves money. That's the way it should be. I don't know why, but it is. So, the people of Toastella will take your bread and throw it in their furnaces to power their cities. And they'll give you toast in return. Now, depending on how good you've been all year, depends on the quality of the toast you get. If you've been a good boy or girl, the toast you get will be nice, golden brown, and crispy. Oh boy, butter it up and chomp it down like it's your last meal and you're about to die. If you've been naughty, it's gonna be burned on one end, and it's still gonna be bread on the other end, leaving you with an Othello piece of inedible toast where you can spread jelly on, pretend it's intentional, and cry yourself to sleep in the bathroom because your toasting skills suck. Now, the reasons toasters are mostly metal is because they come from a special metal that fell from space. There was this metal in a meteorite that fell and hit the earth and people started making bread holders out of it. You could only hold two slices at a time, it was kind of impractical. But they realized the metal was magical and connected this world to the lost world of Tostella, where they started trading bread for toast. And now you can do it commercially because what does America do? Get stuck money out of everything. The reason toasters have two slits on top is because they were going to do three slits, but it turns out the metal wasn't white enough. So they stuck with two. Now you can stick two pieces of bread in and enjoy toast for two. Did you know toasters didn't actually have their little pushy thing in the first iterations of the toaster? They usually did it with the fourth, or they would use magnets to pull the bread down, or they were light on gravity, or thought, you know, the toastellans would just take the bread down of their own accord. But then the toastellans got lazy, and so they installed the button to kind of help the process along by getting the bread down into the toaster so you could get toast in return. It just takes the toastellans a little while to take the bread, catalog it, store it, and then bring toast back to your toaster and send it up the hatch with a small little ding to let you know your toast is toasted. Now, the reason you should never stick a fork in a toaster is because when you stick a fork in a toaster, that's like stabbing a knife down into somebody's planet. If there was a person out there bigger than this earth, and they just dropped a sword straight on the earth, like plowed right through and destroyed all the land and stuff, you would bet that would get a lot of people really ticked off. So don't ever stick any utensils or anything in toasters, or the toastellans will electrocute you and you will die without toast. Just remember kids, respect the toastellans and everything will go well with you. Behave and your toast will be golden brown on both sides. And never, never stick a fork in a toaster. Toastellans will kill you. Thanks for watching kids and remember, stay educated. Everything I said was 100% true.
because what does America do? Get stuck money out of everything, and movies, and sequels, and buy, 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 and yay, 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 and more packaging, and canned foods, and Twinkies, and ah!